Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. In this tutorial, I'm just going to um, explain briefly about artboards and how to create them, resize them, and move them about, duplicate them. Okay, so I'm just I've got the web um, selected, new document, and I'm just going to choose web medium just to start off with, and it has artboard checked if you're creating your custom one um, you don't have to have artboards checked I'll show you how to uh, place artboards into your document okay so I'm just going to create that and that's created my medium web artboard so as you can see it just over here so let's just rename it um, medium web okay and then I'm just going to zoom out it just a little bit here you can see I've got it. So you've got your, your handles just over here. You can increase it upwards or downwards. Um, same as using the transform tool. You can bring it in or out. You can stretch it. Um, if you hold down shift, it will keep the proportions as well. And if you want to create, let's say, let's say I've got this one here. Let's just make it a little bit bigger like that. And let's zoom out just a touch more. And to zoom out, I'm using the control and minus key. And to pan, I'm using the shift and drag. And you can see the, the hand come in there where the cursor is. So let's say I want to create multiple artboards um, of the same. So I've got my proportions right, and I want to create a new one to the right-hand side. You can see here, you've just got your, your plus arrows. So I want to create one on the right of this one click and done okay let's say i want to create one under that one click and it's created it for me and the artboards work similar to layer groups um you can have every all the layers inside of one group um and minimize them if you want to create a new layer for that artboard for artboard two just hit new layer whoop that didn't do as it was supposed to so i'm just going to drag it down Okay, and now what else do we need to know? Let's work out how to create a new artboard. So just on your toolbars, just on the side over here, where your move tool is, you've got your move to an artboard tool. If you just have layers here, um, it will come up as artboard tool as well. So if you want a custom one, just click and drag however big you want it to be. Or if you want a custom size, you can either enter it in over here and change to landscape and portrait over here the add new artboard i'm just going to click that and show you i'm just going to zoom out again and over here you've got your size which currently is set at custom there's plenty of different options here your iphones ipads watches um, webs macbooks and all of that okay so let's go with a ipad mini and i'm just going to let me just redo that again. Sorry about that. Let's not have any of those selected. And we want to create a new one. And we want to create an iPad mini. And click. And there's your iPad mini. And obviously that's just the front screen. So if you wanted to create some graphics or anything on it. Um, you just create it there for like a, a background or something. But if you were actually creating like a, a web page um, and you just wanted to create a template, you'd obviously want to just drag it down um, to create the scroll effect. And if you wanted to create a new new page, like a linking page, you just click the, the arrow there. Okay, so it's as simple as that, creating artboards. Um, so we've gone through creating new artboards, landscape portrait, different sizes and custom sizes, and sizing the actual artboards themselves. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much as easy as that. Okay, well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did, and hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have many more tutorials to come, and I have plenty on my channel just waiting for you. Thank you.